We're going to take a look at the new make controller functionality within 2016 now. You'll all be familiar with uh, moving assemblies and assemblies with motion in them. And we can see this assembly is no different. It's got a number of degrees of freedom in it. But one thing that many users find is that it can be very difficult to control these multiple degrees of freedom. Uh, and this is especially true the further away you get from the origin. You'll see it becomes increasingly difficult for me to move that component into the position that I would like. A lot of users would create configurations to control or snapshot the positions, but managing these can be a fairly tedious process. So we now have the introduction of the make controller functionality. So over on the left hand side of the property manager at the top, we can apply the makes that we'd like to control within this assembly. So our makes have just been named to make them a little bit easier to understand. So here we're controlling the twist of the base, the upper angle, the elbow angle, the forearm twist, the wrist angle, the wrist twist, and also a sub-assembly mate here that controls the opening position of the jaws. So this is a pick and place robot and we'd like to capture uh, the positions that the robot goes through when it's picking and placing an object. Towards the bottom, each of the mates and their values are listed out and we can select any of the stored positions here to see what those values are. So you'll see we're just closing the jaw here and then we're lifting the component up. If we want to add any additional positions into this, we just click add position give the position a name, and then start to manipulate the values to what we'd like them to be. So here we can drag this round to a particular value. Might want to just raise the angle of that arm up and also maybe twist this angle here. And maybe we'll just spin that round like so. Once we're happy with the position, we can just update it. And then we can go ahead and add an additional one. So we're going to drop the arm down now and just move. Well, we'll leave that down there. And we'll just move this one here and twist that round to there and capture that position. And then finally, uh, here we're just going to open the jaws like so. It may be the case, as it often is with robots, that you want to return to a home position once the operation uh, has finished. So I'm just going to return to home here and then add a new position and just capture that as well. So it's retaining the values from the home position. Towards the bottom, we have an animation pane here, which lists each of the positions we've snapshotted and a time or duration listed against those. So this is used for the animation within this section. So we can change any of these values just by clicking in the fields. Once we're happy with that, we can click calculate and it's going to animate the assembly through the various positions that we've added. We can then save that animation as an AVI file if we want to directly from the make controller. You've also got a convenient slider bar here to actually move you through those motions so you can inspect in a little bit more detail exactly what's happening at any given point in time. If we accept the tool, within the motion study section of SOLIDWORKS we can use the animation wizard to actually import the make controller into an animation. So we just specify the start time and the finish time giving us a duration and then you'll see all that information is captured through into the animation side of SOLIDWORKS. Now this is great if you want to build it onto the back of animations that you've already created or alternatively you may want to calculate motion studies to understand the forces or loads that are being applied to the assembly whilst it's moving. So a really nice piece of functionality. So the Mate Controller allows us to seamlessly control the mates, it gives us the ability to snapshot positions and also to animate results. We can export those movies directly from the tool into either an AVI file or directly into the motion study within SOLIDWORKS if we want to look at motion loads or forces.